Hi all and welcome back. So this week I did plan on making a video on making rubber moulds but uh, due to some technical issues regarding the rubber compound not arriving in the mail I've had to give that one a can. So what I'm going to look at doing is I've a video I haven't done for a while is working with train controller doing the KD shuffle. So what that is you'll see the train rock up to a given point it'll back up to take the slack off the, the KD coupler Katie Coupler will get opened up by electromagnet and then the train will move away. So, hope you enjoy it. So, let's get to the layout room. Okay, so welcome to this very short little video on train controller. So, you can see down here, I've got this train already in this block on a part at the red signal here. So what it's going to do once I activate the schedule, it's going to transverse down this part of the layout into to the yard and come to the uncoupling sequence. So to set this schedule going, it's just a matter of hovering over that button there, pressing it going red. Once it's red, it'll transverse down and as stated before, it'll end up on block B1. So of note, where all the sort of magic happens, and I'll touch on it briefly later in the video, is this is where the uncoupling happens. So this, this button here, what that actually does is, if I set that to an on position, what it's gonna do is it's gonna do all the uncoupling automatically. I have two infrared sensors here that sense uh, within millimeter perfection where the train is. It'll stop it over the, the magnet, or the electromagnet from KD, and it'll go through what I call the the KD dance or the KD shuffle and then then if it clears correctly from the, the rake wagon so it uncouples correctly I should say it'll set on its automatic schedule and head back to the turntable and park in its given stall so it'll, let's head over to the layout So you'll notice the, the train has noticeably slowed right down. So you can see that uh, it's actually in the, the B1 block now. So it's just as it transverses across the B1 block, it just slowly slows up. So this is so we can get a more accurate stopping distance. So as you can see, it's coming up to the infrared sensors there. So it's going to sense the length of the train. So it'll tr trip the sensor now and it'll just slowly slow the locomotive down even further. So what that does, it puts the locomotive right over the middle of the electromagnet by KD. So this is where all the magic happens. Now, you can see with the part I'm circling there, you've got the, the uncoupling magnet, which is the little bit there I'm pointing to there. And when we turn the little uncoupler on, it turns green. You'll see that the, the locomotive will shuffle backwards, take the slack off, and the locomotive will uncouple from the rake of wagons. So train control has a lovely little feature, um, which is the traffic control window, which I'm showing you there. So what that actually is, that's showing my block BY1. So what I'll just simulate what it, uh, what it looks like within train controller when I go through the uncoupling sequence. Okay, so what I've got there is I'm just turning to edit mode and I'm showing you the operations tab and all the code that goes in behind this to effectively make the, the shuffle work as it does. Um, I didn't write this code, I had it written for me, but I sort of have a, uh, a good understanding and how it works. So now when the button turns green, it goes through the, the KD shuffle. So the locomotive, as said before, will move backwards, take the slack off. And then I'll just show you what happens with the, the virtual wagon there. You can see I've got the, the cursor there and you'll see a little a little arrow point up so that actually means within the system that the locomotive is actually uh, uncoupled at that point in time just activated there is a schedule that start, starts that sends the locomotive back to the engine facility there so there's obviously a lot of code that goes in behind doing schedules and i have previous videos on how that's done so i'll link below 
but it's a little bit beyond the scope of what, um, just quickly what I'm trying to show you here today. So that engine will just tootle off onto its schedule towards the uh, the engine facility and be parked back in the turntable. As you can see, the engine is now on the turntable. It'll spin around and train control will select what a stall it goes into. Um, I have 12 stalls and nine of them are for... You get the idea, that obviously the locomotive will then park in the stall. So anyway, that's the end of this very quick video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Technique.